A couple of weeks ago, Martin O'Donnell shocked snooker by reaching the Welsh Open final. Probably shocked himself as well, as he is 37 years old and has been on the tour, fallen off the tour, regained his tour card, fallen off the tour, on and on and on. So I just want to analyse how out the blue this was for Martin, how he's fared in previous seasons, and what it might mean going forward for the lad. So, Martin O'Donnell, 37 years old, first attained professional status in 2012, qualifying via Q School. When he reached the tour, he actually won his professional debut, which was a qualifier against David Grace. But the good times weren't to last, and he finished the year ranked 86th. The following season, the only event he qualified for was the China Open. When he got to the first round, he was supposed to be playing Stuart Bingham, but ended up getting a bye to achieve a last 32 finish in a ranking event for the first time. Here we go. No. This was his only highlight, and he lost his tour card at the end of the two years. He didn't take it lying. Oh, he didn't take it lying down. Regaining his tour card for the 15-16 season. Long story short, the results weren't good enough, and he had to do the same again, and managed to do so ahead of the 16-17 season. In 2018, he reached the shootout semi-final, which was his highest finish at that stage. He lost his tour card again, though, but swiftly regained it ahead of this season. So there we go, we're up to date. Nothing much to report from many years falling on and off the tour, but something was a bit different this season. In October, he got to the English Open quarterfinals. Big step. Or at least it should have been. Throughout the winter, he had a huge downturn in form. Qualifiers came and went, and unfortunately, O'Donnell suffered a lot of defeats. And he rocked up to the Welsh Open, ranked 77th. Looked on track to be same old, same old for Martin, unfortunately. But he breezed past Chris Wakelin, and he saw off Anthony Hamilton. Then he overcame an informed Marco Fu. Then he shocked the world champion Luca Brassell in the quarterfinal. Then he scraped by Slesser in the semi-final, setting up a final against Gary Wilson where unfortunately he did fall a bit short, he fell a bit flat in that final, but there's no shame in that. Because what's important for Martin is the fact that he's now a long way down the road to retaining his tour card at the end of the two year period. And we're not even at the end of his first season back on tour. He's up to 59th overall, but a stunning 19th on the one year list. He only just failed to qualify for the Players' Championship, which could have opened up more doors for him. Sadly, as I sort of mentioned earlier, he had a poor winter of qualifying. So actually, until the World Championship qualifiers, we've seen the last of him for this season. But as I say, as he goes into next season, he doesn't need to do all that much to retain his tour card. So it looks like Martin has finally broken the cycle that he was in for the last 10 years. But more generally speaking, was this run to the final more of a flash in the pan or the start of yet another late blooming career, a la Robert Milkins, a la Zangander? But what it's worth, I don't think so. I don't think he's going to start reaching more finals, picking up ranking event wins. What I do think is that we can actually expect to see him on the tour now for the next few years at least. Confidence up, maturity in the game up. General experience, up, up, up. And what do you think of his style of play? That got a lot of criticism during his Welsh Open run, which I think is unfair. If you struggle to keep your tour card, you've got to, you know, tighten up, which to his credit, he has done. And it's earned him the nickname Ministry of Defence, which is a belting nickname. So yeah, let me know what you think.